Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be playing with the Spellbinders January 2021 Small Die of the Month and their new Stamp of the Month. So that's a new thing they came out with. I'm very excited to pair them together because they coordinate beautifully this month. So what I love about this month's uh, kits is that you can put together cards super fast. A lot of times with the monthly kits, they're a little bit more intricate and more detailed of pieces, but here we go, this is four, four dies, that's it. Um, you get the outline, you get the inlay, and then you have the heart, and then there's an outline for the heart as well, uh, right here. So that's gonna make cards super fast, very easy to do, um, especially if you have a tool that's gonna help you get all those die cut pieces out of your uh, dies. So let's move on into the stamp of the month, and this is gonna be Valentine's Day themed with the sentiment there, and then all these beautiful patterns for your hearts. The die from the die set does cut out the heart, but it does leave quite a bit of a border around it, so just keep that in mind. All right, so we're gonna start our projects here. And I am playing with this new to me uh, watercolor paper from Hippie Crafter. I do believe they're an up and coming art supply store and they reached out to me and wanted me to check out some of their products and I'm so excited to do that. This one, I chose the watercolor cardstock because I'm always in the market for testing out watercolor cardstock to see what's good out there. I'm no expert by any means, but I will tell you this is really good quality cardstock. This is 140 pound, very thick, very sturdy, takes a lot of water, um, it's cold press, and I just really had a lot of fun coloring on it. So I will link that below if you're interested in checking it out as well. But what I'm going to do with my first panel here is I'm going to do some heat emboss resist. So that is where you use sticky ink to uh, stamp your images. You put some powder, I chose white, and then you heat set it. And here I'm pulling out one of my hacks of using these, these uh, silicone uh, spatch, what is this called? This is a tongs, the tongs, because my hand started to burn up. So that's a really good tip or tweezers or something that you can hold at a distance. So I'm heating that up with my heat tool and then I'm gonna to take to my craft mat here. So this is just a baking sheet wrapped around a dollar store um, clipboard, and I'm going to put some Arteza uh, watercolor and gouache on there. So I have some metallic and some regular uh, gouache. All right, so I'm going to then wet my surface first. This is the wet on wet technique, and I'm gonna drop in the color. Now I sped this up quite a bit, because it did take me a, a little bit of time to uh, get the, what I was looking for, get the color. But I wanted to make sure that those hearts were popping and that's the whole concept behind watercolor resisting. So your embossing is going to hold off from accepting that ink and then you're gonna have this wonderful design that pops out. This is very, I think this uh, embossing resist is one of my favorite techniques because it's really, magical and and whimsical and kid like it's like that um invisible ink that we played with as a kid or you know just until you do something with it and then the message pops out i just love it so it's one of my favorite techniques i'm going to take out my ranger tool and kind of heat set that a bit but i ultimately put these to the side and just let them air dry on this one i'm doing another wet on wet technique but with no embossed images below it and I'm just dropping the color in and getting sort of an organic look. Um, I think I spritzed it a couple times to move the color around, but then I sopped it up with a paper towel because I didn't want too much uh, liquid on the cardstock. Okay, so we're gonna come out back to our dies. Now these are the dies all cut out and I loved them. I had to use some holographic mirror cardstock because one, it's my favorite, and two, I bought way too much of it, <laughs> so I have to use it up. But here I'm showing you some glitter cardstock, um, cut out the beautifully intricate heart. You can also fold that in half and use it as a butterfly and add just a little bit of a black body to it. Uh, that would be great too. So here are my layouts. This is the general look that I'm going for. Some things I do in between this and putting them together is I cut down my card panels to uh, about a quarter inch on each side and um, then I put some splatters. Now I left this in here because I thought this Prussian blue would be much darker, like a navy, 
And it turned out it was not. I did not like that color at all. And sometimes that happens, but I went with it by adding black on top of it. So I pulled out my Delusions paint here, and I am just going to flick that onto my, my panel. And that's really what I was going for, was just sort of a little bit of an addition to my background. This way I, you know, I opted for this vice um, using Nouveau Drops or even sequins. I, I didn't really put a whole lot of embellishment on top. Um, I'm keeping these more gender neutral uh, in that way, in, in my opinion. So I'm gonna do that to all of them and then I'm gonna put them aside to dry. Now I'm gonna start assembling my cards. This one right here is uh, I'm gonna go on a black cardstock. I chose the black because I really wanted it to pop through um, because this is mirror cardstock and I just really love the way it came out. I was uh, I was definitely digging the mirror cardstock and the glitter cardstock. Now that's not very gender neutral, <laughs> um, but I just think it's really, really pretty. So. We have this um, we have this laid down now with some Barely Art glue. I use Barely Art glue throughout this video because I'm dealing with glitter cardstock and I find that to be my favorite, my go-to. That or Art Glitter Glue are my favorite to use. Now look how warped this piece is. This is really warped. Um, and I, you can run it through your die cutting machine, that helps. You can lay something heavy on it, that helps. But I just opted for some scrapbook.com uh, foam adhesive and this always flattens out my projects almost perfectly and so the first thing I'm going to do again is lay down a black mat behind it on my card panel my cards are a two size so that's five and a half by four and a quarter and I did a top folding and then I'm going to just lay this straight down onto my card and you're going to see how much this flattens out the card, which I just think it's incredible because you really can just take any warped cardstock and make it work. So, okay, I'm gonna add some Barely Art glue to my intricate die here. Like I said in the beginning, I highly recommend a tool of some sort, and I'll throw up a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about to help get those die cut pieces out. Or you can run your dies through your machine with a dryer sheet a couple times and that will make it have like a little bit of a wax um, on the back of it and your die should pop right out. All right, I'm gonna lay that down, put something heavy on this because we're working with some pretty thick cardstock here. So once I get that finished, I'm gonna start um, adding my sentiments and this one is just the Happy Valentine's Day from the stamp set. I love that, very simple and very to the point. So while I'm putting these cards together, uh, those of you that subscribe to these kits, um, if you post anywhere on social media, go ahead and tag me because I'd love to see what everyone else is making. Um, you know, not, Obviously not everyone has a YouTube channel and so it'd be awesome for me to get some inspiration from you as well. And so if you tag me at Mary Polanco Designs, I'll be able to see what you're creating out there and I would just love that. So consider doing that um, so we can connect as well. Okay, now I'm just putting on my holographic. Now, what was easy about these cards is when I would cut something out with glitter cardstock or holographic cardstock, the opposite um, would be used in a different card. So I'm getting two or three cards out of you know one go through or one pass of the die cutting machine. So consider that and consider not tossing your stuff and just making the cards right then and there. Because I think that that, you know, a lot of times we, we you know, save stuff for later, for later, for later. <laughs> later it never comes and now you have a stockpile so maybe just take an extra five minutes to throw together a card and that could be one you donate or something like that or send out because that's going to be something i do more so this year is send out more cards okay now i'm done putting my cards together and here you can see my four designs i kept them all pretty much in the same color scheme uh, but these were just a blast to play with um, so if you are interested in anything I used in the video, you can click the links below and that'll take you over to Spellbinder so you can check those out. I appreciate you spending your time with me today. Thank you so much. I have my link tree link below if you'd like to connect on other social media platforms. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything from me in the future. And I hear that notification bell will let you know when I post. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.